Hi, I'm Rowan, and this is my $18 microphone arm. And I'm going to show you today how I made this arm function like something that would cost at least twice as much for free. So, this microphone arm comes with a pop filter and a regular little connector on it that you can mount, um, you know, a blue Yeti or a Yeti Nano or any kind of other microphone that just has a little screw-in base. And it's got all these other little doodads, which I'm not using any of. All right. And um, so what do we do to make this microphone arm work better? Well, first, I want you to hear this microphone. I mean, I want you to hear the arm. Um, I've been recording this whole thing without any noise suppression on. So, normally, you'd expect that if I touched a microphone on this cheap of an arm, it would make all sorts of noise. Did you hear that? Did you hear that little boom? Yeah, that's all you heard was a little boom. Okay, I'm going to bang it. Okay, it was a medium boom. <laughs> you hear that? Okay, now I'm going to move my microphone. I'm really cranking this thing around. Okay, so what did you hear? Not a lot, and it stopped as soon as I stopped moving it. So how did I achieve, you know, not super duper, um, but quantitative benefits here? <laughs> how did I achieve such a um, quality of dampening? Well, Let's, let's go into this little video and I will talk over it and um, you can see some of my room, well, some of Mr. R's stuff here also. Okay, first thing you note is that we have done something to extend the microphone arm and we have mounted it up high and um, we've got what looks like some stuff here. Those are shoelaces. Actually, it's one long shoelace that's been threaded through the springs of the microphone arm. What that does is cause dampening. So when the springs vibrate, or they want to vibrate, they vibrate up against some material, that's the shoelaces, that absorb the vibrations and deaden the um, springs. Now, that long tube we just pointed out, that is the pop filter arm. Yes. All we did was we took out the regular little connector and we put the pop filter arm in there in its place, right? And you see that I have Velcros holding my USB cables on. That helps keep it from making noises. And um, here, if I can pause, Oops, let me rewind this a little bit. Okay, what you see here is the clamp portion of the pop filter is being used to clamp down on the, um, on the mount for the microphone. What does that, what does that mean? Normally that round piece at the top of the deity mic would screw into the little pin at the top of the microphone arm. Um, 
but because we put this pop filter arm here, we don't have that pin. It's, and the, the arm uses a different threading entirely. But I found that this clamp works pretty darn well, and it'll work with other microphones also. The other mic we have is a um, Yeti Nano, which has the more standard um, little metal um, neural, as opposed to this big plastic neural. And because of the length of this screw, the, um, the little end here can screw all the way over to the, to the other side of the clamp, which means you can pretty much put any, any neural in there and it'll tighten down just fine. So, the things that we have done, um, there's a very important thing I haven't told you yet. And that is the placement of the microphone. I mean, of the clamp for the arm. You can see back here that it's attached to this framework, which is actually attached to a different desk. I have two desks um, butted up against each other with about three inches of space between them. The reason why the arm is mounted the way it is is that by isolating the arm from the desk that you're constantly bumping and banging on, typing keys on, moving mice, um, you know, um, that isolates the arm from all the vibrations that you make, all right? So that's number one. Number two are the shoelaces. The shoelaces um, reduce any vibrations in the springs that happen when you move your mic around or if you bump into it like I do or if, you know, um, anything happens that would cause the springs to vibrate you know, like coughing, <laughs> or air movement, or a butterfly, whatever, you know, that's number two, is the shoelace. Now, number three, not so much an issue with dampening, but having that pop filter arm on there lets the microphone arm come back down to a usable level. Now, right now, obviously, I have it mounted far above my head. And the reason why is, if you can see, I have all this room down here to work with. All that room. I don't have a microphone, you know, sitting on a desk in the middle of my workspace. I don't have a visual block between me and my monitors, right? This is absolutely wonderful because I've got the mic lifted up and I've got this arm out of the way. So those are, those are all benefits. <laughs> you too can have these just by, you know, using your noggin a bit. Um, if your desk is up against a wall, um, pull your desk away from the wall just a little bit, just so that, you know, you aren't bumping your desk into the wall and mount your microphone on the wall. All you gotta do is find a stud and get a two by four or, you know, a couple of, a 2x4 and a 1x4 and screw the 2x4 into the wall and screw the 1x4 into the 2x4 and now you got a little shelf and you can mount your microphone arm on that. Yeah, so yeah, there are some very simple things you can do that will make your life better and get you a lot of money worth out of a 
$18 arm instead of, you know, breaking your arms, getting the money out of your wallet. I hope this video was helpful and uh, that it wasn't a complete waste of time. But if it was, well, you know, that's the way things go. Hopefully it was helpful. And I enjoyed making it, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye!